the beginning of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and the fight for a cure has almost become synonymous with the Susan G. Komen Foundation. But the woman behind the organization has a new initiative. Local 10's Janine Stanwood, who is a breast cancer survivor herself, tells us about her new project to reach women in need. This is really the second chapter in my life. Chances are you've heard of Nancy Brinker's sister, Susie. <laughs> to the rest of the world as Susan G. Komen. She was 33 years old when she was diagnosed with the disease. Brinker founded Susan G. Komen for the Cure in 1982 as a promise, making those pink ribbons synonymous with breast cancer awareness and finding a cure. But Brinker, a longtime public servant and breast cancer survivor herself, now has a new mission, laser focused on women in need here, called Promise Fund of Florida. Think of it as a boots on the ground organization. Pink ones, of course. Right before she died and she asked me to cure the disease, she also said, and I want to make sure every woman has a chance to be treated like I was. The problem is some studies show Florida is at the bottom of the list when it comes to access to health care. Hispanic women are more often diagnosed with later stage breast cancer. And according to the National Cancer Institute, black women are still more likely than other groups to die from the disease. I was diagnosed a second time when I was 32. Liliana Herrera says when she was diagnosed, she didn't have health insurance, but made too much money for assistance. So she quit her job and lived in a friend's auto repair garage to qualify for medical help. She says she felt lost. That was the only solution that I could come up with and also not having anybody to guide me in the process of how to maneuver all the different decisions and resources. Now she's a navigator with Brinker's Promise Fund, helping women not just get screened, but also figure out all the appointments and treatments they might need. To be able to see a woman through the process, what does that mean to you? Absolutely everything. Brinker's organization might be headquartered here in Palm Beach County, but she's taking her work to Miami-Dade and Broward counties to help people there too. That's because there's also a partnership happening with the Miami Cancer Institute at Baptist Health, in part to start a clinical trial on a new type of radiation that's believed to be effective and doesn't take as long. It would mean that we, we can assess, test, and prove that these shorter courses are deliverable, are more feasible, and making patients have more accessible care in an expedited way. We're making a change in our community, and I'm, my next hope is that we will be able to have other communities replicate what we're doing. Brinker says all these efforts are part of that ongoing promise to her sister. I have to believe she would have been very happy. What would she say if she was looking at, at what you're doing now? I think she would say, keep going, get going. Um, you know, I've dedicated the last quarter of my life. I hope I have that many years left to see this happen for her. In Palm Beach, I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. I love that, just keep going. And by the way, those pink boots represent a new campaign to encourage communities to join the fight against breast cancer. The clinical trial at Miami Cancer Institute is expected to begin in the next few months. Also important for us to say, Janine is our hero. We know she's a survivor, so. Great to see her putting those stories in the forefront. Yeah, she is a superwoman. Yeah. Thanks, Janine. Well,